Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a zombie horror film called Day of the Dead, Part 2, Contagion. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins in 1968 at the Ravenside Military Hospital. Here, we see a drunk Russian spy named Mr. Vodka, who has been badly injured and infected with a virus. In the middle of the chaos, a shady man named Shady picks up a mysterious vial and makes a shady escape. Military cars and choppers show up as Shady prepares to leave with the vial, which he has hidden inside a green bottle. Now, the military soldiers break into the hospital and shoot everyone in sight, possibly because Mr. Vodka's infection is highly contagious. Shady manages to avoid the soldiers and make his way outside while they plant bombs all over the hospital. His colleague enters the operation theater but finds no one there. Suddenly, he is attacked by Mr. Vodka, who has now become a talking zombie. He snaps the colleague's neck like a twig, but the soldiers show up and shoot him down. Everyone in this hospital has been infected by the zombie virus, so the soldiers attack all of them. Shady takes cover like a chicken and manages to escape the hospital area, but the zombies are relentless and they start dominating the soldiers as well. Tensions run high as the bloodshed doesn't seem to stop, and then we see Shady tripping and falling to the ground. Even he becomes a shady zombie, so the soldiers shoot him down. With the zombies overtaking the hospital, the only option is to blow up the place, so the soldiers unleash their bombs. After the devastation, a voiceover talks about immortality and how humanity likes to maintain it through hormone procreation. This voiceover is actually from a man named Isaac, who is a patient at the same hospital where the zombie incident happened. We are now 37 years into the future, and we meet Isaac's fellow patients, Big G, Grumpy, Nerd, and their doctor. Isaac talks like a philosopher, but the others just think that he's talking bullshit. Now, Big G finds a green bottle, which is the same bottle that Shady was trying to steal. He thinks it's a treasure bottle, so the others talk about opening it. However, Isaac thinks this is a bad omen, and he warns everyone against doing so. Isaac gets scolded for his words, but Doctor tells him that he should just focus on meeting his girlfriend, Babe. The men go for a checkup, and we see Babe with her friend Ladybro. Isaac acts romantic with Babe, but a bully man named Bully forces him to enter the hospital. Babe and Lady Bro complain about Bully, but they get interrupted by a girl named Sassy, who tries to roast them with her sassy lines. Lady Bro calls Sassy a night lady and tells her to shut up her smelly mouth because Babe is considering Isaac as a hormone partner. However, Sassy states that Babe will probably be put under heavy observation due to her troubled state of mind. Babe is seen talking to Doctor and explains that she is in a better place mentally, but also states that she wants to get out of here as soon as possible. Doctor reassures her, and then we see Nerd watching a movie with Grumpy, while Big G cleans the green bottle. Doctor meets a curly nurse, who complains about Bully. He calms her down with a kiss on her flat cheek, but not on her curly lips. Nerd's movie gets interesting, so he calls Big G to watch it with him. Big G leaves his bottle unattended, so Grumpy decides to take it with him to the men's room. Now, we see Babe and Isaac in the middle of a hormone yoga session, and they declare their love for each other. Isaac promises to be with Babe forever, but Lady Bro and Sassy somehow find out about them. They complain to the nurses about Babe and Isaac, because hormone activity is not permitted between patients. Bully is informed about this, so he goes to confront the couple, while Sassy has to be restrained by a nurse because of her sassy behavior. Bully threatens Isaac, but Doctor comes to the rescue and tells Bully to calm his bullying muscles. Doctor takes Isaac with him, while Bully forces Babe to come with him. Doctor's group is together now, but Big G notices that his bottle is missing. The men go to the bathroom to look for Grumpy, and Lady Bro creates a distraction for Babe to escape from Bully. Everyone enters the men's room, and they try to get Grumpy to come outside his stall. However, Grumpy opens the bottle and reveals the vial that Shady had hidden. The vial releases a zombie gas that infects everyone, and Babe takes Isaac outside. Bully and the others arrive to create more confusion for Doctor, and then the bald supervisor calls into his office. The supervisor tells Doctor that he's not a fan of his methods, but Doctor argues that his patients are making informed and consistent choices. He tells his supervisor that he's underestimating his patients, but the supervisor argues that Doctor might be overestimating them. The supervisor tells Doctor to prepare his patients for a medical checkup. It's time for the patients to sleep, but Isaac and the others keep coughing, probably because of the zombie gas. Doctor is seen working on his computer, but even he begins to cough. 
He texts his online friend named Keyboard Warrior about the vial, but gets a jump scare by the curly nurse. She asks Doctor out on a date, but he simply wishes her good night. Now, all the infected people start experiencing hallucinations, but don't pay much heed. The next day, Doctor and the others notice that their skin is peeling off, and Big G experiences a seizure in his big muscles. He's taken away, and the others check out their skin, but Nerd is only interested in eating greasy sausages for breakfast. Babe is told that she's surprisingly pregnant, and then she's left alone by her doctor. It only gets worse when Bully shows up and threatens to file a false report, which will keep Babe in the institution for a longer period of time. He says he can make all of this go away if Babe agrees to give him some hormone therapy. However, Babe unleashes her zombie instincts, not to tongue massage him, but bites Bully with rage. What follows is a confusing sequence, as all the infected men experience some kind of hive mind phenomenon. This includes activities like banging their heads, or even puking at the same time. After the disgusting sequence, Doctor is summoned by his supervisor, who says that Babe is pregnant. Doctor confesses that he lied about Babe and Isaac, but the supervisor says that he is now going to look after them. Doctor starts coughing aggressively, and it makes the supervisor concerned, but he reassures him that all is well. Now we see Babe and Isaac with each other in the ward. Isaac thinks that he and Babe are slowly merging into one because of their hive mind behavior. However, Isaac is taken away by a nurse, and then we see the supervisor acting shady. He pulls out a card, which belongs to an army general and proceeds to call him, but disconnects the call before it gets patched up. Big G is then taken from his ward and forced into dorm one. The supervisor arrives and tells his nurses to place a quarantine and shoot any patient from this dorm if they get violent. He also suggests aiming for the head, which means he knows about the zombie virus. Doctor tells Isaac about Babe's pregnancy, but he doesn't believe it and says it must be a false positive. We also see Bully who is puking out some disgusting substances due to the bite he got from Babe. Later, Isaac and the others spend time with each other while reading more stories, but Grumpy feels restless. He goes to Doctor and apologizes for opening the bottle. Doctor tells him everything should be fine, but Grumpy wants to get out of his quarantine room. Doctor gets a call from Keyboard Warrior, but learns that the bottle is bad news because it is from the zombie incident of 1968. Doctor laments his luck and announces that everyone will sleep tonight. All the infected patients say the same thing, along with Bully who is being observed by the supervisor. The next day, everyone is forced to take their pills, and it leads to some rough treatment. Sassy and Ladybro get into an argument, and we also see Doctor and the curly nurse flirting with each other. Doctor tells her to stay away from Bully, and then Ladybro gets into a fight with Sassy. A guard nurse breaks up the fight, and then the curly nurse steps out of the room, but sees Isaac and the others staring at her. She makes an awkward exit, and Doctor decides to go check on Babe while wearing his doctor suit. The guard nurse separates Sassy from Ladybro, but another patient goes crazy upon seeing Doctor, and it leads to a lot of chaotic confusion. Ladybro takes this chance to steal a gun and rush towards Babe. The nurses alert Babe's guard to shoot on sight, so he doesn't even allow Doctor to enter the ward. However, Lady Bro shoots him down when she reaches the scene and proceeds to look for Babe. Big G and the others become paranoid over their hive mind phenomenon and think that this is the work of aliens. Nerd starts to annoy Grumpy, so he threatens violence, but Isaac breaks up the fight. Regardless, Grumpy says that they need to escape before they become science experiments. As Doctor sneaks around the hospital avoiding the guards, the supervisor meets Bully, who has transformed into a mush of flesh because of his infection. He states that every human has different reactions to the infection, and continues to taunt Bully because of his sad luck. The supervisor shows a key to Bully, and it triggers him, so he attacks the supervisor's hairy body, but not his bald head. Isaac and the others can sense what is going on, so they get into action. This horrid sight is also witnessed by Doctor, who is looking through the window like a peeping Tom. Meanwhile, Lady Bro finds Babe, but she wants to be with Isaac, so she runs towards him. The couple is happily reunited, but Lady Bro shoots Isaac out of jealousy. Grumpy knocks her down, and Isaac goes off on another philosophical rant about death. However, Babe calls him out on his bullshit, because he is still alive, and everyone can hear his hive mind thoughts. Now, a couple of male nurses check out Bully's room, but can't find anyone inside. That's when Zombie Bully breaks the door and sends one of the nurses to meet Jesus. 
The other male nurse panics and runs his smelly butt away, which distracts the female nurse tending to Sassy. She leaves Sassy alone to check up on the male nurse, because she knows Sassy is currently under the effects of the pill. Now, everyone checks out Isaac's bullet wound and realize they are all immortal. However, Keyboard Warrior suddenly shows up to flex his keyboard skill and tells them that they are only in the larva stage of the zombie virus. This means that they are yet to see what will actually happen to them after they fully give in to the virus. Grumpy gets angry, so he attacks Keyboard Warrior to assert dominance. Meanwhile, Doctor closes in on Bully, and Sassy manages to drag herself towards a room filled with drugs. She can't get through the child lock on the drug closets, so she goes crazy. The panicked male nurse finds the cops and brings them over to the hospital. Doctor enters Bully's room and finds his supervisor's dead body, along with the key in his now detached hand. Doctor gets tempted to bite the hand because of his zombie desires, but Bully smacks him away and is about to eat him. However, he refrains from doing so because of Doctor's zombie genes. Now, Keyboard Warrior explains to the infected team how Mr. Vodka had accidentally exposed himself to the zombie virus. This led him to be put under observation, and he started experiencing the same symptoms as the infected team. One day, under influence of alcohol, Mr. Vodka got a taste of human flesh, and that's when things got tricky. Meanwhile, we see Bully chasing after Doctor, and ending the other male nurse as well. He then attacks the cops, but they shoot him down. Keyboard Warrior continues Mr. Vodka's drunk story and says that he was tested during his observation period, but all the results stated that he was dead. Keyboard Warrior has an injury on his head caused by Grumpy, and this triggers Nerd, so he bites his smelly part with passion. This also leads Big G and Grumpy to feast on Keyboard Warrior, but Babe takes Isaac into another room. The guard nurse finds Lady Bro and tries to take her away, but she has also become a zombie, so she bites him for a meal. Doctor walks in on the infected team, feasting on Keyboard Warrior, and he gets tempted, but is saved by Babe and Isaac. The next day, the supervisor also becomes a zombie, and then Doctor tries to figure a cure to the virus. Zombie Nerd and the others taunt him for being innocent, and say that he will also come over to the dark side. Now Zombie Supervisor enters Sassy's room, but he gets distracted by an injured nurse, so he chases after him. Doctor, Isaac, and Babe try to navigate their way through the madness, but everyone has become a zombie now. The cops struggle against the zombies, and only one of them is left alive, so he joins forces with Doctor and the others. The curly nurse also joins the team, and they make their way forward, but Babe suddenly starts to feel some contractions, which means she's going to give birth to her zombie baby. Meanwhile, Zombie Lady Bro ends sassy sassy life, and the infected trio savagely destroys Zombie Bully for his bully ways. The zombie gang breaks out of the hospital and make their way into the neighborhood, thus kicking off a zombie apocalypse. In the middle of this attack, Zombie Lady Bro is shot in the head, and then we see Babe being treated in the emergency room. However, the zombies break in and end the cops' policing life. Zombie Grumpy tells Babe that she should join them, and Doctor tries to fight Zombie Big G, but it is of no use. Isaac gets his hands on a gun, but all hope seems lost, so he shoots himself in the face. The movie ends with a news report talking about how the zombie virus has taken over the city. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.